right off the bat, I want to point out, specifically for Paradiddle players that are watching, you will never switch back to Steam or Meta ever again after using this. It is the the benefit you are going to have is absolutely insane. So for me, uh, it, it's I, I ran the numbers, I did the tests. I don't feel like redoing them to actually record to make this video, but just so to just take my word for it. If you're a casual player, you don't really need to do this, so you can just completely ignore this video. But if you are a hardcore player and you really just are tired of the sticks just not being able to keep up with you, you're definitely going to want to check this out. So normally with Steam VR. You cannot run your Quest 2 or your Pico device directly with SteamVR. It does not work. You will get a black screen. If you're getting a black screen when playing this game, that is why it's not compatible. You're, the computer cannot recognize the Quest without the Meta software. The only reason I even have this installed is because it keeps the Quest updated. And that is its only reason. You need Meta to fucking see that you bought it and it's like, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. Play it however you want. Um, same goes for Steam. However... Uh, the differences between running a Steam VR over Wi-Fi, there is a Steam VR link you can actually get on the Meta Store and totally check it out. It's pretty freaking nice actually, and it works. It's not bad. Go go Steam. Whereas Meta is still smoking crack. If you want to play Paradiddle, you have to, it's only on Steam VR and on the standalone Quest version. There's not a PC version of it on the Oculus app, so you have to run Steam VR through Oculus, and it's just a whole fucking nightmare. There is Dash Killer, but there's a much better way. I know I'm doing a lot of talking and not a lot of just explaining it. Really quick, running any game through Steam VR, there's going to be a delay because it's running through a Steam VR filter and then it's sent to your Quest or your, your Pico device, whether it's Wi Fi or LAN cable. That's just, it's not necessary to run the game. Uh, Meta, fucking, <sighs> the bath salts that they are smoking, I can't even be. I, uh, on the Meta app, using AirLink actually was better than Steam VR in terms of latency, and it was a much better experience. Uh, however, there is this weird like effect with rubbery sticks uh, where the prediction is just weird. So I had to use OpenXR Toolkit Companion app, and this basically just opens up a UI overlay that you can manage settings with any quest. So if you're having performance issues, I would grab this anyway. I'm gonna have links for all this too, by the way. To take the prediction, I guess is what it was called. I don't know. I just kind of press buttons until shit happens the way I wanted to. And apparently it was the prediction that was just set to 100. I set it to 50. And then it was a pretty decent experience. I would start playing the game this way, except VDXR is so much better. Still, it's close, but wasn't the best option. And I need to be lightning fast when I play. So I need the quickest experience with the least amount of delay and that's what i want to share with you so if you don't have virtual desktop fucking do it so if you have virtual desktop i'm gonna load it up you'll have this this is just how i have it set up uh so if you follow this exactly you'll have the same exact parameters that i use to play and i will not play this game in any other way uh, in fact i'm not even on the latest update i refuse to update it i'd love to make content for this game i can't have bugs getting in my way and currently no offense i love this game more than anyone and everyone from the discord fucking knows it too well i i'm on a test build i'm on a beta test build of the game i am not on the latest version it has everything that the latest version does have but it just doesn't have multiplayer all right so i don't know what anything is by default i'm not about to reset it so uh yeah this do this um i have boost game game priority on and when you check this it'll tell you to not do this i do this anyway just because it, it's it tells you not to but then it tells you it, it boosts priority which is kind of like helpful um so if you're not running a bunch of other shit i guess have it off i don't know i have it on it works fine i don't ever i don't like touching settings when i get shit working right because then i feel like like fuck what did i what did i do why is it not working right now i don't know um audio streaming i i prefer computer only because i will use my headset connected to the computer because you are streaming the audio from the game to your quest and there's a bit of a delay if i have it set to computer only there's not um, because you're hearing directly from the game off the pc so i just have computer only um, but you can set it to vr headset and computer or just vr headset only it'll just it has to send it the audio over wi-fi yeah I, yeah whatever gamepad is automatic uh now here for preferred codec uh if you're also recording paradiddle or recording anything using virtual desktop streamer um i will record with the instead of the h264 uh in obs i'm recording with the nvec hvec the it's the so h it's the h265 uh the other one i don't know 
this is, I, ha I use the 264 just reporting uh, just normally because it's compatible with Discord. When running the game, uh, you want to be using a different codec than the one you're recording from or else you'll have frame stutters and a hella lag. If you're on the Quest 3, uh, you definitely want to be using the AV-1 10-bit. It is extremely crisp and good looking. Uh, I'm on the Quest 2 and I still use this. It works and it does look better than the rest of it. It's really nice. So that's what I use. Now I do have a 1200 gigabyte Wi-Fi limit. So if your internet's slower or you have a, you're, you don't have that much bandwidth, I probably just set it automatic, but this is what I use. Now here for OpenXR runtime, make sure you have VDXR on. This has to be on before you have Steam or anything else open. Then this, this is it. This is all you gotta do. This, this, copy and paste this. That's what I should have just said. Just open Steam VR. You don't open up Steam, just open Steam VR, let it update, let it do its bullshit. So then once you have it up here, it'll say the headset not detected. That's normal. That's fine. You don't need your headset connected. You don't need your headset for this at all. You just want to click on these little three bars here and then go to settings. Whenever you go to settings, you want to go to startup and shutdown. And then you want to make sure that you have the virtual desktop streamer add-on toggled on. Game set support, sure, whatever. I don't think you need that though. And then uh, if you're on the same build that I am, uh, is where I need to use OVR advanced settings to winch myself out of the ground because I spawn with my face on the floor um, and there's no other way to move your position in VR. So I have this. I don't know how the current version of the game handles this uh, with OpenVR. So if you do spawn on the ground whenever you do this, uh, definitely go ahead and grab OVR advanced settings first. Just remember that whenever if you add on, if you add any plugins or add-ons, you need to make sure you close everything out, open Steam up, and then enable it here before you open it or else it'll make you restart steam anyway and it may crash so i just i do this first but i have all of this set and then you go to open xr and then you make sure that it says ver the for the current open xr runtime it says this i have these on my layers i guess i don't think you need these um but if you have them make sure that they're set on and then make sure meta plugin compatibility is also set to automatic and not off um you will get a black screen if this is set to off um and it says and you're running the Steam VR runtime. Because if you're running the game in Steam VR, it's trying to try to connect running through Steam VR like no differently than trying to run it directly plugged into your computer without the Oculus app or Steam VR. Uh, if I'm using uh, MetaQuest, if I'm using the Oculus app, I set it to automatic. If I have it, if I'm trying to play it on Meta and I use VDXR, it'll be a black screen. There's just a lot, a lot of people have been mentioning issues with black screens, and this is why I've. I've ran through every issue of this black screen, and this is it, I promise. Because you're running a different runtime than what you're telling the game to run on. If that makes any, I don't know how to explain that better. Uh, just do this. And then you close that out. I'm not sure if this helps or not, but here are my developer settings for uh, Steam VR. If you go hit developer. I have GPU profiling on. Uh, I have, everything's just not checked, basically. And then I have, I did disable power management. And I don't know if that helps or not. And then once you've done that, uh, you want to open up Task Manager. Just right-click down here and go to Task Manager. You just want to commit complete genocide on everything Steam or Meta running. Uh, Meta will usually have an OVR runtime running. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. Goodbye. No Steam or Meta left alive. Not a single trace of it running on your computer. And you're good. If you don't do that, uh, sometimes, and honestly, it happens a lot. It's kind of random, it seems. I don't really know what exactly causes it. But if you have Steam VR running, or Steam running in the background, usually it'll be on your taskbar down at the bottom. If you have it running, and you still try to use VDXR, Steam VR will still launch, and it will try to pick up the game, it seems. I don't know if it's that's exactly what it's doing, but it seems like it is. Whenever you go and do this, if Steam VR, if there's a uh, if a window pops up saying updating Steam, you are doing it wrong, cancel it. Do not let Steam run. You fucked it up. All right, so whenever you're in your quest, you open up virtual desktop. And then boom, here is virtual desktop. Um, this is just how I'm recording it right now. The screen copy, so I can have pass through. Um, so I can go over some cool features. Now, whenever you're in virtual desktop, if you click the menu button, uh, this will pop up. And this is how I used to launch the game. It will just read your Steam library, uh, let you play them from here. This used to be the what I would do is I would just launch it from here and it would launch fine, but it keeps fucking launching Steam. So I stopped doing that. So whenever you're here, go ahead and click on this little arrow down here and go to your virtual desktop icon, right click launch game. And then this thing will tell you to fuck off. You just tell it to fuck up back off and you're good. Uh, I'm not running the game through my Steam library folder. I can see right here. 
I am, there's my games. Um, this is not what I'm gonna be running the game through. Uh, I just kind of made a copy of the build that I'm on and I just go to it, as you can see. It's just my S drive and then Paradiddle. And then I'm gonna launch the game from here. And then whenever I do this, you'll notice that Steam VR will not update. It's immediately launched. And um, Steam Dash will still launch. You're still gonna go into the Steam Dash. That is normal, that's fine. You're not running it on Steam though. You're just borrowing its dashboard. The game will run. And I see I'm in the floor. But here you see all my button inputs. Get myself the fuck out of here. Uh, this tab is pretty important. So I have, uh, I normally will have the Snapdragon game super resolution on. Uh, and I just basically have uh, video bu buffering on. S uh, synchronous space warp, turn that fucking off. Uh, it's apparently good, but it's, it basically renders at, you'll be playing at half the frame rate that you should be, I think is what it said. I don't know. I disabled this. Camera's fine. Uh, fuck, I should have set that to 60. My quest is actually running at 60 frames, but it's run, rendering it at 72 frames. Uh, sharpening it off. Um, but this little guy right here, in the streaming tab, you enable it. Um, you need to disable the game super resolution, and then you can configure it and enable it. I'm going to configure it to uh, just the green screen. And in the settings tabs, I have uh, optimal resolution off, auto connect, games tab, sure, uh, disabled. I have everything here checked. Doesn't hurt anything, so. And my bit rate for my desktop, this just uh, changes the bit rate of the feed of your desktop. This doesn't actually change the VR bit rate, which I have set to 12 megabytes. I don't think this does anything at all. It's, I have it set to 10, just, to, just for an example. Oh, that's on, audio on, microphone. Oh, shit. Am I getting? And now it looks like this. I need to fuck with some things. I can't really see anything, so I need to uh, enable the green screen. Uh, so I enable the green screen. It's still a bit fucking weird, so I need to... You just double click. You can go right back to the home while you're still here. And as you can see, it's a green screen. <laughs> Uh, and I just need to, uh, click again for the Oculus menu, and then fuck with it a bit. Oops, all green. And then just double click again, and now I'm back in the game, and it's pretty much perfect. You lose your ring on your chinas, but other than that, you're fine. So I know on, while I'm recording this with screen copy, it's recording the lens directly, so it's gonna have the kind of corners cut out, but it doesn't look like this, obviously. Oh, come on. This game does this to me every other fucking day, dude. Why? 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 Son of a bitch. to see my stick settings there you go yeah it's pretty good oh uh, yeah so there is a 
uh, a minor delay when we're using it in Steam or Meta, whereas this matches, if you see my hand here, this stick is glued to my hand right now. It matches exactly the way that the Oculus is reading the controllers and your sticks do not move. They are perfectly glued to it, and that is... Um, and so far, Steam VR has a delay, and Meta, um, and Meta with their fucking drug abuse, uh, made their sticks out of rubber. Um, I don't have footage of that right now, but it's just, if you, if anybody who's, like, felt like it, they were very wibbly wobbly, then, yeah, it's because you're using Meta. Let's test this. Oh, okay, the highway looks fucking weird. Uh, <laughs> Let me see if I can fix that a little bit. That's better. It's still green though. I like that. Kick here, and that's why I had that overlay up. Um, so you can see my inputs. I have a right grip, red trigger, and A for the kick. And I have left grip for open hi hat. I understand that you have a pedal, so it's open by default until you press the pedal and then it closes. So I have trigger for that. And that way. Uh, I can pretty much do everything. It's not hard. Um, I do have these grips as well. Uh, on this hand, I kind of just... These are 15 bucks. Um, sorry, I gotta get closer to my fucking mic. I keep forgetting that. Uh, I just put two fingers in there. Uh, sometimes I will do this. Uh, or just... Or this. It just depends on what I need it for. Um, and that... How, how it feels in that moment because I'm constantly changing because um, I want to be able to grip and press all the three of these buttons. So this hand on my right hand, so on my right hand, I'm pretty much holding the controller primarily like you would, but I'm mostly holding the ends of both the controllers like this. So I can basically hold it like this. This hand though, I keep, the loop kept falling out. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, so I just kind of like put three fingers in there and then wrap it around um and all of this really does it doesn't you don't need these but what it does is it gives you the confidence to just relax and not have to worry about throwing your fucking controller when you're giving it a loose grip like this just like that or just this so to wiggle the controller will wiggle inside my hand Ooh, I like these settings. I swear to God, game. <laughs> Good thing I'm recording this. Jesus fucking Christ. It's hard, though, because the red controller fucking... Oh, whatever. How does it look? Wrist action. letting my hand vibrate. <laughs> All right, let's test this out.